All right, now we left off where we had downloaded HTML. We got our text editor working. My bad. We downloaded a text editor and now we can finally get started writing HTML code. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open up the text editor that you downloaded. For the main part of this course, I'll be using Sublime Text. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna go ahead and make this full view so that everyone can see it. And now over here is where we're gonna write our code. So we learned that the syntax of HTML was closing and, or opening and closing tags. So it started off with uh, an alligator brace or an alligator tag and it ended with an alligator tag, all right? So first thing first, let's go ahead and save this file. Sublime Text won't show us the cool colors and stuff if we don't specify what type of file this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Command S. I'm gonna save it as test.html. I probably have a file like this, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. And now Sublime Text knows this is .html file. Now, the first thing you must know is that HTML documents, all HTML documents must start with the document type declaration. It's just the way it is. For every HTML document, you have to say um, opening tag, uh, exclamation mark, doc type in all caps, and then HTML, and then closing tag. This just tells any web browser, any page that, hey, this is an HTML file. The next thing is the syntax, right? We're talking about how an HTML page must be laid out. The first thing first is the HTML tag itself. It's gonna be HTML, and then watch this. If I type the opening uh, opening snippet, this opening alligator, and then I have the slash key, it immediately closes it. So as you might've seen when we had inspect elemented the Wikipedia page, when we looked at the view page source, we had an opening tag, which was HTML or any tag for that matter. And then we had a closing tag and the closing tag, the only difference is the slash. So for every tag that you open, you have to close it with a slash. There are a few exceptions that we'll talk about later, but this is what you have to know. Now, inside of this HTML tag, we have to add some content. And the way that's split up is in two parts. You have the head tags and you have the body tags. Let's go ahead and write those right now. So we have head, I'm gonna go ahead and close it, and we have body. I'm gonna go ahead and close this as well, okay? So we have doc type, we got our HTML tags, we have our head tags and body tags. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about body first because this is definitely more important. The body tag has all the visible part of the HTML document. You have an image, you have some text, you wanna show a link. All of that goes inside of the body tag. The head on the other hand is for SEO stuff. It's for adding CSS or JavaScript files. It's for maybe, um, you wanna give your website a title, the thing you see at the very top in your browser. For all of those things, you use the head. So inside of the body tag, and I haven't taught this yet, but let's go ahead and learn the first tag, our paragraph tag. So the paragraph tag, again, is just P. So you open your alligator, you're at the P, and you close the tag. So opening tag, P, close tag. Let's go ahead and close it as well. And inside of this, any text you write, it's a paragraph, it's content. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is our this is our first website. I can't wait wait for the things to come. Okay? That's it. This can be a great website, all right? You didn't even need the body, you didn't even need the head. As long as you had the HTML tags, that would still constitute a website. Maybe you wouldn't see anything, but that still works. So let's go ahead and view this now. Let's save this, so Command S, so that that dot that you saw over there goes away. And then what I want you to do is go into your folder, okay? Uh, my folder's over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and double click on test.html, all right? Now it opened on my other screen, so I'm gonna drag it over here, and voila. We have file, this is our location of the HTML file. This is our first website. I can't wait for things to come. Fantastic, this is exactly what we wanted, all right? Now, before I end this lecture, there's one last thing I wanna show you, the power of the head tags, all right? We haven't really discussed what they do yet, and we probably won't for future lectures, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the title tag does. Go ahead and write the title tag, close the title tag, and inside of this, I'm just gonna say, first website. Save this, 
go back to our Chrome, refresh, and take a look. Right over here, the thing that tells you what tab you're on, that's now been changed to first website. That's what the title tag does. It changes the tab name. If I go to CNN or GitHub, it might show me CNN as a title or GitHub as a title. Very some website to website. But anyways, this is fantastic. My goal for this lecture was just to teach you guys the syntax, what HTML is, how the tags are, what it means to open a tag, to close a tag, and then we learned paragraph tags and the title tag. I'll see you in the next lecture.